Well, hello. Uh, my name's Dan. I'm back again with another fountain pen review. Uh, I have today a Narwhal School Kill in the Asper Bronze. Um, and here is the box with the nice Narwhal logo on. Take the box apart and you have user manual, standard, and a pen. So this is the Narwhal. I believe it is pronounced school kill. Apologies if it isn't, but that's what I'm going to call it. And in the box you also have a little wrench uh, to disassemble the piston for cleaning maintenance should you so choose. Let's get rid of the box. Here we have the pen. So top finial you have a little kind of silver coin uh, embedded there. Uh, clip is the narwhal shaped clip basically which is uh, not really that stiff solid i would say not the little tiny spring load there but very usable uh piston turning knob is carrying on with the resin and here you have the ink window so the resin, this is the Asfa bronze finish, and I think it's lovely. So there's li lovely bits of swirling uh, depth and different different colours, patterns in there. Uh, the advantage of this sort of resin, if you're a kind of person who likes to match up their ink colours to your pen finish. You've got a few options here. You can go with the kind of light blue, got the orangey. Um, I mean, even you can, you can get into teals, greens, or if you're the type of person who doesn't really care and sticks whatever ink you like in your pen, fair play to you. Um, cap is a screw cap and unscrews in. One, two, Two, call it two. Um, then you have a number six size steel nib, plastic feet. So on the nib, you see there, you got the Narwhal logo again, and uh, a bit of scroll work. These nibs are uh, unscrewable nib units. So if you wanted to replace or swap around your nib grades uh, you can just unscrew the nib unit and pop a different one in new one in um, if you do that you probably want to stick a bit of silicone grease on your threads just to make sure that that doesn't leak uh, piston filling pen piston turning knob i won't use it right now because it's got some ink in and here is your ink window you can post the cap, but it's just going to post onto that piston knob. So A, you want to be careful that you don't turn the piston knob. And B, I mean, it's it's not drastically insecure, but I wouldn't, it's not brilliantly secure either, to be honest, and it makes it very long. Um little bit back weighted possibly so if you absolutely have to post your pens you can but careful and it is does make it on the long side the barrel just as it's pretty straight there's an ever so slightly tapering down just to the piston knob I don't know if you can see it, but it's literally about a millimetre taper from the ink window down to your end there. And section, 
So these th screw threads are very nice. You don't barely feel them at all, depending on where you want to grip that um, section. Does taper down and then just flares out here, which will stop your fingers rolling onto your nib. Very nice. So for measurements, there you have that. You will notice a little bit of discrepancy here. First time I weighed it capped, uh, there is a bit of ink in it, so it's probably sloshed around a little bit and I was a bit impatient. I got 28 grams. Then I weighed it uncapped and I got 18 grams. Then I weighed it capped and I got 12 grams. And I went, hmm, that doesn't add up. So I capped it again and put it back on and I got 30 grams. So either rubbish scales and impatience, both, etc. Anyway, so that's the largest point. As I say, so barrel, about 13 there, about 12 at the end, just ever so slight taper down section. About 11 up here at the threads, tapering down into your narrowest point before it flares back out again, round about 9, 10 millimetres. Got it? Excellent. So moving on to a bit of a size comparison. Here you have, and I will school kill. Hope next to the Lamy Safari, you've got a Jinhao X159, Leonardo Memento Zero Grande, Lamy 2000. So it's on the larger size, uh, certainly for length and I don't know, medium girth. What do you think? Medium girth, yeah, go with that. Um, it's a good size pen in the hand if you like um, semi-large, larger size pens, um, and a decent weight as well. Moving on to a bit of writing. Uh, Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM paper. So this is, this is gonna be where I mess up the spelling. So this is this is the updated spelling of narwhal, which I'm pretty sure is still pronounced narwhal, but it's spelt narvalur. Now then, I really hope that's right. I forgot to look it up, if I'm honest. And I'm going to copy the school kill off the box because I've had this pen quite a while now and I still can't spell it off the top of my head. So, oh, I've messed it up already. Didn't see that, right? How very professional. Shoil kill or school kill. Whatever you prefer. Uh, number six sized steel double broad nib on this one. So narwhal nibs, uh, standard branch. Uh, you can get fine, medium broad, double broads, uh, or I think they do a stub, 1.1 stub. Uh, ink in here. Here's Die Mine Marine.
So it's very smooth writer. Uh, this is my second Narwhal nib. Uh, I've also had a medium and that was equally smooth, obviously with the double broad. Um, you put in a bit more ink down so it, it does glide very nicely. So just see if we can speed that up a bit. You can see that keeps up very nicely. A little tiny skip there possibly. Could have been me to be honest. Um, but I never have any issues with this starting up or keeping up. Um, as far as line variation goes, this is no pressure. So you can get a pretty round line there um, with the double broad tipping. Can I squeeze any out? I mean, it's already a double broad, but you can fatten that up just a little bit. It's not a nail, but um, still on the stiffer side. You do get, uh, I was going to say you do get a little tiny bit of natural variation there, but not loads. Reverse. It's still pretty smooth actually, it's not um, scratchy. You can go fine and extra fine to extra fine out of that. And that keeps going reasonably well. So not bad. If that's your thing. So, let me zoom back out a little bit. Um, so, what do I like about this? I really like the resin. Uh, I think it's a it's a lovely swirling pattern with a good combination of colours, which is. Uh, right up, sorry, hang on. Just going to slide that back in for a bit of aid to focus. Um, yeah, nice resin colours swell, which is right up my alley, I was going to say. Um, piston filler, so you get um, slightly larger ink capacity than your cartridge converter. Uh, haven't measured it, but, you know, kind of getting up to a millilitre and a half for your standard piston going to be in there somewhere um screws off two turns nice um i like this section it fits nicely in my hand as i've mentioned before i'm not a serial poster anyway so that is good length for me in there and there um and fits nicely it's it's nicely weighted very comfortable Pen to hold. Uh, I mentioned the screw in, screw out nib unit, which is handy, and also you get the tool to uh, disassemble the piston. So, for cleaning wise, I know sometimes a piston filler can be a little bit more of a pain to clean than, say, a cartridge converter. Uh, but, cleaning wise, if you wanted to deep clean uh, at some stage, you could take the piston off and even take the nib unit out and literally just flush through the entire barrel um, which I have done and reassembled no problem at all and um, yeah that get you a good a good clean if you wanted to do such things um, it's a good all-round pen the price is um, so in the UK you can get these for anywhere from 40 to 50 pounds depending on where you go perhaps what finish uh, etc. Um, so that's a decently priced pen for what you get. You've got your piston filler, your range of nibs, swappable nibs. Um, the nib writing experience on 
the two narwhal nibs including this one that i have owned is very smooth there's not a great amount of feedback so if you like a bit of feedback just something to consider um it's a very smooth writer um and this double broad is very nice and i'll tell you what i did forget to do bit of wetness so double broad nib it's going to be on the wetter side isn't it it's not a gusher but it's nice you get a decent amount of ink down there um but you would expect that on a double broad size um anything i don't like just from a personal perspective i'm not massively keen on an ink window that is visible when capped so i would either prefer your cap to drop down over that or maybe that to be the other side of your threads or just the further down either way i i prefer if i've got an ink window on a pen to not have that visible when capped that said uh it's not a massive deal breaker for me on this pen certainly depending on uh other fountain pens but on this pen it's not a deal breaker for me i mean i've got diamine marine in there at the minute which actually you know it matches these swirls quite nicely for me um so it's not like every time i look at it and I, oh no i can see where my ink is what am i gonna do oh, you know it's not that bad um but that's just my personal preference but if that's something that would bother you something to take into consideration i don't think there's anything else i don't like about it really uh, it's just a it's a good value all round well working uh pen which fits my hand and personal taste very well so i hope you've enjoyed this if you have guess a like yeah if not fair enough it's not your bag is it mate what can you do See you next time. Take it easy. Bye-bye.